Sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice, you will always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. Quark! That moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q-Force. What? This Q-Force must be stopped! Destroy them! Eradicate them! Annihilate them all! <laughs> it's on my to-do list, right after folding your undergarments. Well, team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally leave the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi, I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day, but we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. <laughs> the plan is excellent. <laughs> A new suit of armor is available at the Gadgetron Armor Vendor. Ratchet! That new armor suit for sale at the vendor is constructed from ionized adamantine alloy. That's one of the hardest substances in the galaxy. But I suppose you already knew that. Ratchet, I couldn't help but notice that you aren't wearing your regulation green Q-Force tights. I suggest you get your butt back in uniform before I write you up for a dress code violation.
Comic Episode 2, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof! Right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation. I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous Amoeboid Horde. For the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Barbecue!
His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath!